A very good morning all of you. Myself Rupali Nanika Dasaraju from Department of Biotechnology CK Thakur College New Panvel Autonomous. Today we are here to discuss the topic of classification of nutraceuticals. So before jumping into the topic of what are the classification of nutraceutical, let's start what is nutraceutical. If you see on the screen, you can see a capsule which is releasing lot of contents. What are that contents? Nutraceuticals is nothing but it is isolated, purified and a kind of available things in the market which can give you the medical value. Basically, there was a phrase which was given that let food be your medicine, otherwise medicine will become your food. So we have to take or intake our medicine in such, we have to intake our food in such a way that it is going to help us to avoid the medicines. So that's why nutraceutical companies plays a very important role in this kind of studies. So nutraceuticals are being classified in various kind of type. It could be naturally available which are we are consuming on day to day life. Let's see what are the various classification of nutraceuticals. Nutraceutical sources which are being taken as a natural resources are being classified into various types. Let's consider the first three type which we are going to study in today's lecture that is dietary fibers, prebiotics, probiotics. The next nutraceuticals like PUFA, antioxidant, polyphenols and spices are also been included into our day to day life. Let's focus on today's topic that is dietary fibers. Now fibers we are already listened about this topic on day to day life we have lot of contents you can see a image towards your right hand side that is showing you the pictures about what are the fiber contents present in our day to day life. Now fibers can be classified into soluble or insoluble. Soluble and insoluble forms of fibers which you can see are present as a part of edible plant. Now edible plant is nothing but or edible part of the plant is nothing but where the fiber is trying to be resistant to the digestion which can get absorbed to the small intestine. When it gets to absorb into the small intestine where the colonic bacteria which is present as a part of E. coli or any other lactic acid bacteria they starts fermenting them. So this dietary fibers in our day to day life plays a very important role. On to the next slide we will try to study that how the structural property or how the particular structural materials present in the insoluble fibers or the plant of the cell wall of the fibers have different kind of content. You can have cellulose, you can have hemicellulose, you can have pectin, you can have different kind of content present in the plant. In cereals like rice and wheat which we daily consume, it is again a source of dietary fiber. You also have pulses and legumes which is again a very good source of dietary fiber. So we on day to day basis in the Indian homes also we do consume that and that dietary fibers are having the nutraceutical properties. Fruits and vegetables. We have bananas, we have mangoes, they are very good sources of dietary shoots, dietary fibers. Again, potato, on day to day basis in lot of vegetables, we add potatoes, we use sweet potatoes, they are also rich in the fibers, which help us to fight against various kind of disease. We will focus on that topic in the upcoming slides. Let's come to the next part. This slide is showing you various examples of the fiber. Let's talk about the sources of dietary fibers as a form of insoluble and soluble. This is the slide which is showing you the insoluble content and this is the one which are the soluble fibers like your oats. Now nowadays there is a lot of uh, fade of taking oats, overnight soak oats which are very good source of breakfast. So this is again one of the example of your soluble dietary fibers. You also have nuts, you can have almonds, you have blueberries, you have apples, you have strawberries. In the case of the insoluble one, you have different kind of grains which we have. We have brown rice as an example of part and fruits and vegetables also do play a very important role as a soluble and insoluble fibers. The take, the intake, how much we should eat? What should be the content we should have on daily basis? So for that, I would like to say that women usually are suggested to take more fiber. It is observed that women consume less amount of dietary fiber which is 15 to 30 grams per day. Ideally, it should be for a healthy adult about 35 to 40 grams per day. So, on daily basis, a healthy adult should take at least 40 gram maximum dietary fiber in their diet.
in case of males it is been in case of uh, other males it is usually in the normal range but women tend to consume less dietary fibers so it is suggested that dietary fibers are very good for your health so for that purpose you should have a wide range of dietary fibers for maintaining good health of a person let's see where all it is going to help us if you see the center role of dietary fiber and the health benefits it will control your glucose we have lot of fruits in that it is also going to minimize the weight uh, gain kind of properties also going to lower the gi index glycemic you can prevent the colon cancer because dietary fibers are again going to be considered in the small intestine large intestine so colon is again a very nowadays in lot of countries the colon cancer rate have been increased so instead of going for medicinal properties or medicines which we are consuming on day to day basis we can opt for a good diet which can help us to prevent this all kind of diseases which are been uh, there on your screen it can also improve your immune functions because we are consuming as a part of dietary fibers which have lot of medicinal properties to it bowel movement sometimes people are having a difficulty uh, in the bowel movement early morning constipation is a major issue that time doctor do suggest to have a good dietary fibers so this is again a very uh, a great aspect which we need to touch that it is going to also improve the bowel movement which is a very important aspect in human life cholesterol levels as we know that the heart rate uh, uh, the heart diseases basically have been increased and the number of young generation are dying due to the heart diseases so we have to focus on our diet related to it and it is shown that dietary fibers lowers the cholesterol level it also going to help to the diabetes again it is related to your digestive system so this all kind of properties is been displayed by your dietary fibers nutraceutical function now our topic is nutraceutical function so what it does it have when you have this higher intakes of the fiber as i told you in the last figure itself that it is importantly going to reduce or lower the occurrence of lot of diseases one of the important diseases is related to your heart obesity which leads to lot of other diseases diabetes a major concern nowadays the children's which are of the age of 10 also get diabetes so this is higher intake of this nutraceutical functional dietary fibers can help us to reduce all this function uh, all this kind of diseases large intake of df is also associated to lower the serum cholesterol level so your cholesterol level can also be maintained by having lower diet like by having the intake of dietary fiber which is having the nutraceutical function it is also seen as i told you in the last slide it is going to immune it is going to re, a kind of increase your immune function which is again going to help us to fight against for lot of diseases the patient are encouraged to consume higher amount of dietary fiber so above first third point first second and third point people those who are having this kind of disease they are going to suggested by the doctor that you should have a good kind of dietary fibers in your diet so that we are trying to avoid this kind of diseases so students today we focused on the dietary fibers what are their content how they can help us to pass on uh, or try to reduce the different kind of diseases in the next lecture we will talk about the second classification of nutraceuticals that is probiotics and then we will study about the prebiotics thank you so much